Roads, brought to you by Hammer Down River Excursions. Good evening. Welcome back in tonight's Idaho Backroads. We go across the Wyoming border where a very famous bear continues to produce cubs. And continues to please crowds as well. Here's Steve Liebenthal from Grand Teton National Park. These people are waiting and watching, some from a superior vantage point, hoping for a glimpse of what might be the most famous living bear in the world. It started in May when grizzly fanatics anxiously waited to see if Grizzly 399 would emerge from her den in Grand Teton National Park at the ripe old age of 24. The park opened May 18th and right then and there was on YouTube, 399 and the four babies. That's right, four cubs, a rarely large litter, especially for a bear born in 1996 who some feared might not survive another winter. The prolific grizzly is known for having more than the standard two cubs, regularly giving birth to triplets. And once again, she is pleasing patient crowds like this one, there she is. She's just in the appearing from the tree line to dig roots, constantly working to feed her hungry brood. While some criticize those who closely follow 399, snapping photo after photo, at least one researcher says she has habituated to humans hanging close to the highway for a reason, to protect her cubs from crowd-shy male grizzlies who might kill them. But researchers also say the famous bear hibernates outside the safe boundaries of Teton National Park, and some hunters have said that given the chance, they would target her because of her status. The park keeps a crew in the area where she's roaming to manage so-called bear jams, keeping the animals and the crowds safe. And despite the smaller crowds observed in Yellowstone and Grand Teton parks this year, when a bear is visible, people tend to forget about the COVID-19 pandemic. When the bears come out, we get all excited. <laughs> it's not good social distancing. Steve Liebenthal, Idaho News 6. Wow. Amazing mm. video there. In 2017, mm. by the way, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service removed grizzly bears from the threatened species list, and three states, including Idaho, offered permits to hunt them. Now, that prompted conservationists, including Jane Goodall, to apply for those permits, hoping to save bears like Grizzly 399. The following year, a U.S. District Judge restored protection of grizzlies under the Endangered Species Act. I'm Chief Meteorologist